गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर्स टुडे आर टॉपिक इज प्लेटलेट डिसऑर्डर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द प्लेटलेट डिसऑर्डर बट फर्स्टली वी हैव टू नो द फिजियोलॉजी एंड पैथोलॉजी वॉट वॉज हैपन इफ यू हैव इंजरी और एनी कट टू आर हैंड एनी वेयर एंडोथीलियर लेयर डैमेज देन वॉट हैपन्स वॉन विलीब्रांड फैक्टर रिलीज इज इट्स एन वॉन विलीब्रांड फैक्टर and then gp1b एंड देन जी पी वन बी इट्स ग्लाइको प्रोटीन वन बी प्रोटीन अटैच विथ वॉन बिली ब्रांड फैक्टर ऑन द सर्फेस ऑफ इंजरी एंड देन एडहेशन ऑकर्स एंड वॉट नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट देन ग्लाइको प्रोटीन टू बी एंड थ्री ए विथ फिब्रीनोजन फैक्टर एट दे एग्रीगेट्स लाइक कॉम्प्लेक्स बाइंड टूगेदर हेयर इट्स नॉर्मल फिजियोलॉजी एंड देन स्टेबिलाईजेशन ऑकर फिब्रीनोजन एट ए कन्वर्ट्स इन टू फिब्रीन एट so my dear friend this is the process uh, if there is a defect occurs in platelet aggregation then there is a disorder seems we can class categorize so many but here i am going to explain you most important topics like von willebrand disease bernard soulier syndrome glenjman thrombasthenia and itp idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura so what is the definition uh definition of von willebrand disease it's autosomal dominant disorder deficiency of von willebrand factor here and minor factor 8 deficiency so what happens there is a bleeding occur due because there is a no platelet aggregation adhesion occur no aggregation and no stabilization occur so blood loss so much uh, the symptoms of all the four is same like pitekia it's less than 3 mm diameter purpura 3 mm to 1 cm ichthyosis more than 1 cm menorrhagia means excess blood loss during menstruation period gingival bleeding epistaxis is bleeding from the nose hematuria means urine with blood ocal gi bleeding means hematemesis blood with uh, vomit or hematachezia blood with stool these symptoms are common in all four so now i already explained von willebrand disease now what is the laboratory data bt bleeding time here increase why bleeding time increase because there is no bleeding uh, there is excess bleeding uh, can't able to stop because von willebrand factor deficiency they can't bind together that's why bleeding time increase but pt it's uh, and um, uh, for factors play, uh, pt and ptt is normal uh, but platelet here also normal there is no defect in platelet here is a defect in von willebrand factor but here is sometime iron deficiency anemia why because due to blood loss and how to diagnose we can do ristosentin test to diagnose von willebrand disease ristosentin include glycoprotein 2b and 3a with fibrinogen c this factor is ristosentin when we add this blood uh, von willebrand disease blood together it we see there is no aggregation occur because there is von willebrand factor deficiency if we add serum with ristosentin test then it test comes normal because serum contains von willebrand factor so how to treat this von willebrand disease we need to replace iron because iron deficiency anemia desmopressin we can give to stop bleeding because desmopressin have von willebrand factor and factor 8 and here is deficiency of factor 8 and von willebrand disease that's why we give desmopressin and bleeding stops in von willebrand disease and we can give factor 8 also here but see in bernard soulier syndrome what happens it's an autosomal recessive disorder here is deficiency of glycoprotein 1b there is von willebrand factor present but glycoprotein 1b deficiency that's why there is uh, no aggregation here also and no stabilization occurs it take to uh, time so blood not uh, bleeding time increases because uh, blood uh, not able to clot easily here pt normal ptt normal because these are the factors no factor deficiency but here is platelet deficiency that's why glycoprotein 1b absent here or we can say deficiency not absent deficient deficient ristosentin test if we do then the, it's contain 2b3 and fibrinogen so no aggregation occurs that's why ristosentin test abnormal here but if we add serum that is also abnormal because it contain von willebrand factor and here is uh, von willebrand factor is enough glycoprotein 1b deficiency that's why with serum also it's ristosentin test abnormal 
we can give here sdp and rdp artificial uh, part platelets sdp means single donor blood with platelet it's single donor rdp means random donor platelet so we can transfuse the platelet in bernard solier syndrome okay another one it's glansman thrombasthenia it's autosomal recessive disorder there is deficiency of 2b and 3a here von willebrand factor normal gp uh, uh, glycoprotein 1b normal but deficiency of this 2b 3 and fibrinogen factor autosomal recessive so what we uh, happens here bleeding time increase because there is a uh, this process occur addition but no aggregation no complex binding that's why bt time increase pt ptt normal no factor deficiency platelet here normal but sometimes it shows ida iron deficiency anemia if we do rest to sentin test this is same uh, if there is deficiency, we add restosentin, uh, then it's normal, no pathology. Here also we can do SDP and RDP transfuse, single donor platelet or random dollar, donor platelet transfusion. So uh, how to diagnose this? I already explained restosentin test here normal, restosentin here abnormal, but if we add serum also abnormal, but if we add a serum here, it's normal. So we understand the differentiate between these two and itp it's idiopathic thrombocytopenia purpura associate it's mainly idiopathic platelets low very very low here associated with systemic lupus erythromatosis autoimmune disease like vasculitis wagner's hiv immunocompromised state lymphomas uh, blood tumor post viral uh, infections but here never is plenomegaly in idiopathic thrombocytic purpura here platelet count is very low if we do the peripheral smear that is normal this we found itp in children's mainly uh, final diagnosis to do bone marrow biopsy and how to treat never transfuse platelet here never ever transfuse platelet splenectomy is helpful we can give prednisolone iv immunoglobulin or rho factors so my dear friends why we need to give immunoprednisolone because here the autoimmune system is working so high idiopathically which eat its platelet on by on that's why there is platelet deficiency severe deficiency remember treatment is steroids or we can do severe cases splenectomy but never transfuse platelet i hope this platelet disorder topic is clear for you and if you have any queries any question you can ask me i'm ready to answer you thank you my dear friends have a good day have a nice day